Hi everyone, how are you? So today I'm filming a fall haul and I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up recently. I have my very first Mac purchase, which is crazy to me that it took so long, but I'm excited to show that with you guys. It's just really small, but I thought I would share it anyways. And then I have some limited edition products from the drugstore, some nail polish. So let me start with Mac. This is my very first Mac purchase and like I said before, it's just small, but I decided that it was time to jump on the Mac bandwagon because I love makeup and Mac is kind of of one of those brands that everyone just raves about and it's you know obviously raved about for a reason so the first thing I got was a MAC palette for my eyeshadows and it's just like clear you open it up and then I don't have the insert because the insert was on back order it's been on back order for a few weeks so I'm not sure when I'm going to get that but I'm excited to start filling it with MAC eyeshadows and I just got one eyeshadow to start with and that is espresso which is just a nice medium toned matte brown that I think will be really pretty I'm just been into light lids and then like a brown in the crease so I'm excited to try this and I just picked up one because I need your recommendations I get overwhelmed because I don't even know where so to start. So please leave me MAC eyeshadow recommendations in the comments below. Leave me your favorites, your most worn, ones that you think I can't live without, things like that because it would help me so much as I choose my first MAC eyeshadow. I would really appreciate your help because I do not even know where to start. So that is exciting. Thanks for all the MAC lipstick recommendations on my last video, but I'm excited to get some eyeshadow recommendations from you guys. Oh, I'm so excited about that, but I also do love my drugstore eyeshadows because there are so many great drugstore eyeshadows out there, and Maybelline put out their fall display. I think it's limited edition, but they have some really pretty purple lipsticks, and the eyeshadows are just so beautiful. They put out four limited edition quads. I picked up two of them. I think I'm going to do a whole video on these, so I'm not going to watch them in this video or spend too long on them but I want all of them but I practiced some self-control and just got two of them they were buy one get one half off so I even saved some money but I got um, this one which is just a really pretty purple quad that I just love purple eyeshadows recently I've been trying to add a little bit more color and purple is nice because it's colorful but at the same time it's still not like crazy and out there and then the second one I got is number 140 fall temptation and these are just so beautiful when you look at these colors you just instantly think fall and these shadows are extremely pigmented I had never tried the Maybelline eye studios before this but I've been using these non-stop and I'm so impressed by them they are really just so pigmented so buttery smooth and I think that I will do a video on these showing you guys my favorite looks from these palettes and swatches and things like that so let me know if you would like one of those I also think I might have to get the other two because they're just really really pretty and then I also picked up this palette from wet n wild which is called going in the wild I'm not sure if this is just new or if it's limited edition. I know the packaging's a little different, and I've seen it on Instagram, but I'm, I can't remember if it's, like, limited edition. It was $5, but Rite Aid had Wet n Wild for 40% off, and I thought these colors were just perfect for fall. They are so, so pretty. It's not just your typical neutral eyeshadow palette. There's, like, a yellow, a mint, a purple, a dark forest green, and they all look to be shimmery except for this purple. So I really like shimmery eyeshadow shadows they're one of my favorite things to use so I thought this was a really great deal I love the wet n wild eyeshadows I can't vouch for this palette because I haven't tried them but I'm sure they're great as always and I'll definitely let you guys know what I think about this so the last thing I got from the drugstore is a lipstick and I actually picked this one up on a whim kind of I mean I've been wanting it for a little while but um, I just heard really great things about it and it's by L'Oreal I haven't tried these lipsticks so I decided to try it and it is in the color fairest nude now this is talked about as like one of the prettiest nudes that you can try and when I looked at it I was kind of like I don't think this is really my color I'm not big on nude lipstick but this is different than any other nude lipstick I tried most nude lipsticks are really light and have like a yellow undertone this is more it kind of looks more like a brown lipstick which again isn't something I would normally go for but on the lips, it's just beautiful. It's so pretty. I've been pairing it with like a nude lip so gloss. So I picked this up when Lorac was on Hot Look a little while ago. I hadn't seen this on there before, so I was really excited. It is the Lorac Mint Edition Collection, and it comes in a little package like this. And it says that this is $120, $120 value, and it was $36, like it was an Ulta exclusive. But I got it for even less than so that. So everything comes in this little clutch, which is so cute. I think I will use it as a makeup bag in my purse. 
purse, but let me just open it up and show you guys. So it comes in this really pretty palette. I think it's so pretty. It's just a nice blue and silver palette, and it's nice and compact. It's not too big. And then it comes with six shadows and a blush, a really pretty pinky coral blush, and then three matte shadows, a nice, you know, champagne brown, mint, two purples, and then like a purpley brown. So these shadows are a little unexpected and they're not like something that I already own. So I think it will be so fun to use these and try to incorporate like a mint eyeshadow into, it's kind of like more like blue, I guess, than mint, but I think I just can't wait to use this. I don't know if it's going to be on Holt Look again or not, but I would recommend signing up and waiting because I think this is a really, really great value. It also comes with this lip gloss, and these are some of my favorite lip glosses. I'm actually wearing one right now, but it is the Lorac Lips with Benefits in the color Christian. I think they're so smooth and pretty. The one I'm wearing today is a little bit more of like a bronze, but this one looks like it's like a light, mi light pink mixed with like a hot pink, and I think that it's going to be so so I'll be sure to let you guys know what I think about that and if it's still available online anywhere I will link it down below. So the next two things I got from Tweezer Man, they actually sent them to me because I'm one of their ambassadors but I thought I would show you guys anyways. The first one is this really pretty neon ombre emery board for nail filing that I think is so fun and gorgeous even though summer is coming to an end it's still fun to have that pop of neon. And then I got some mini tweezers and this is part of their new line and has cute little apples on it. They have a couple of different designs on their website so I I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. It actually sent me an extra of both of these, so I thought I would do a little mini impromptu giveaway. If you guys want to win these, then just check the description bar below on how to enter. I really love their tweezers, and their mini tweezers are no different, and I think that you guys are going to love them as well, especially because they have a fun pattern. And the last thing I want to show you are these nail polishes that I got from Dury Cosmetics. I thought they were so fun because they released them to coordinate with the new movie Insidious 2. I haven't seen the first one because I'm not a big horror scary movie fan. I get really scared really easily. But I thought this was fun because they're really gorgeous fall colors and I love that they're kind of like based on a movie. So the first color is called Into the Further and this is just pure black. And I'm excited about this because I think that I'm going to wear black nails a lot more than I have in the past. I just love black nails. I feel like they look so good with everything and I wear a lot of black in the winter so I'm excited to try this one. And then the next one is called Red Door and this is just a deep oxblood red. It's a little bit brighter than oxblood I guess I would say but it is your perfect fall red color that I think will be gorgeous. I always love red during the fall and the winter. The third one is called Lady in White and this is an iridescent ghost-like white is how they describe it and I'm wearing white nails right now. I feel like even though fall's coming it's still fun to wear white nails because I feel like they're so classic and I love that this one has like a nice iridescent shine to it. It like changes it up a little from your just plain white nails. The third one is probably my favorite and this one is called Nightfall and this is a shimmering midnight blue. It kind of looks like Essie's Aruba blue but it's a little bit darker and deeper. I feel like this is so gorgeous. I love this one so so much and I cannot wait to wear it. The next one is called Steel Shadows which is just a really pretty dark metallic gray I love this. I especially love wearing this type of color as an accent nail. And then the last one is called Shocking Twist, which is a shocking lime green, which, again, even though it's fall, it's still fun to wear bright colors, and I love this because it's like, it's not a bright, bright neon yellow. It's kind of more of like a greenish yellow that keeps it, you know, fun, and I really, really like it. So if you guys want to check out those nail polishes, I will link them down below. They're available for $6 per bottle, which is a great deal because this is 0.5 fluid ounces, the same as like SE and OPI, and they're really, really great quality. I like them a lot. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. As you can see, Charlie joined me down here. Charlie! Charlie, look! He's just chomping on his bone over there. He's being good. But um, that is the end of my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any recommendations, leave them down below. I will be doing a fall clothing haul, and then I think I'm going to do a Bath and Body Works haul. I was going to throw it into this one, but it got a little bit long, so I didn't want to make it any longer than it already was. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Let me know if you picked up anything fun recently, any fall nail polish products, makeup, or anything like that. I would love to hear about it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!